Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Taff from Geek of Freak. And today I'm gonna be looking into a pretty awesome new free to play I just discovered. Now, we all know that because of the coronavirus pandemic and all recent upturns in life, uh, the pockets have been a bit tight. So every time we get a really quality free to play, something that's really entertaining, something that's, you know, really engaging, it's always awesome. So join me today as I talk about the fun I've been having with Dauntless. So Dauntless is a free to play game that was developed by Phoenix Labs. Um, I do remember some time ago them announcing the beta, I think it was back in 2019. I'll be honest, I haven't really done any proper research yet, I'm more talking off script, uh, offhand in terms of discussing this, but I figured I just wanted to give like a natural reaction rather than sit down and just, you know, bring out all the classic facts. Um, what I found compelling about this game is that it's just so much fun. Um, it's such an epic experience, um, in all fairness it's surprisingly more entertaining than I expected it to be. Um, and not just to say that I walked in with any sort of uh, negative attitude, obviously a friend of mine has been playing this uh, himself for a little bit longer than me, I think he got the game about a week or two prior, so he has had an advantage as usual. Um, and when he introduced it to me, I thought to myself, okay, this is what works for me, you know. The aesthetic's awesome, it's so easy on the eye. Um, it's just so much fun going out and gathering the necessary resources. Now, I will be the first to tell you that it is pure grind, 100%. And obviously they are, it is riddled with microtransactions in terms of trying to get you to purchase the pass and obviously just sort of buy your way through but if you do like decide to just stick with it and decide to just you know go out and do things normally you can actually achieve quite a lot and you know upgrade quite a bit um so far probably put in maybe just about 10 hours i would assume um i haven't really checked the clock um in terms of the hour count but i think it's somewhere closing in on maybe about 10 hours of gameplay and it has been really really stupendous i have enjoyed it and obviously it's very very recommended to play this with a friend uh, it makes it that much more that much more enjoyable on a personal note though my one and only gripe i'd say is that i've just been having so many problems with connectivity and though that is probably more linked to um what's it called my uh internet obviously not being the greatest as well i've also just found that like maybe the servers as well could just use a bit of work but it being an epic uh game store property i am under the impression that it's obviously getting as much support as it needs uh one thing that also i enjoy is just the fact that it's completely cross play um everybody from pc to nintendo switch to playstation to xbox all end up in the same session and it does show you that you're, you know, teaming up with all these other devices, which is just really fun. And just makes it so much better, you know, knowing that, like, you can, like, play with anybody on any device, you know. So all they need to do is basically just have a stable internet connection, go on and download Dauntless. And based on, like, the graphic intensity of the game, I would say it's probably one of the more calm games to play. Um, which is nice, so you could probably play it on far lower end devices. Uh, maybe laptops with uh, basic to get graphics cards would probably be able to handle this fine so i really do recommend it for anybody um especially if you're a fan of monster Hunter world so if you do like a fortnite aesthetic and you do enjoy the monster hunter world gameplay loop of going out gathering resources um fighting against monsters grinding it out as huge groups you know working together reviving each other doing everything that you can in order to you know make sure you defeat the monster then you really will appreciate this also another thing i want to note the monster design i think is pretty awesome they are fairly limited right now that's why i do feel like the game could use a bit more support um in regards to maybe adding a few more a few more monster types and maybe a few more element types but overall in the loop that i have you know managed to enjoy so far the number of hours i've plugged in such a short time i've just found it compelling and it seems like a game i'm ready to stick with for a while you know see how far we can take this journey so yeah this is why i am just such a huge fan 
it's just you know it's perfect it's awesome it's just brilliant you know i mean yes okay perfect is an exaggeration there's no such thing as a perfect video game but this is really great i think this game has so much potential and this is something i want to stick with for a while and i'm really hoping it gets serious support and if done well it could be as amazing as warframe you know and no way here is complicated which is just another awesome part about the game it's got such a brilliant ease of access for anyone getting in i mean i think the most complex thing is more matching your elements to your monsters but it's very straightforward obviously if you've got a nice monster you should bring fire weapons um if dealing with monsters who deal with electricity you should bring stone if dealing with monsters who deal with uh obviously like um earth-based elements you come in with lightning just basically looking for like the standard weaknesses and the game does direct it to you um overall it does get a bit more complex complex with the cosmic monsters but honestly I, I think it's just because i haven't taken down enough to figure out their exact weaknesses but once i know them the, the rest of the game should become quite a cakewalk also just the action is just fluid really really beautiful um when the game is in full flow it's just amazing like it really does feel like something that's worth your time you know like a real sort of action adventure you know because the monsters move in such a dynamic way and they're just so aggressive yet so much fun to take on like it's really been quite an awesome thing you know it's 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 got such brilliant ease of access yet complex enough to keep players who want to achieve the highest heights interested for a fair amount of time i do believe it does obviously going to need a little bit more in terms of progression maybe add a bit more of a, a bit of depth as they could in the story sort of like what warframe did slowly integrate like a story but i understand that these games are long-term projects and at the end of the day it's probably going to get support for years and I really hope it does, you know, and I hope more people grow to love it and more people grow to want to play and more people want to grow to want to join in, you know, because the Monster Hunters uh, model has always been quite a loved one. I mean, they have an incredible number of games out and people have always enjoyed these types. And to have one designed in such a way that it's just so entertaining for people of arguably all ages, um, I think that makes this a winner. So in terms of my free to plays for the year, um, I definitely strongly recommend Dauntless. It's been your boy Taff, Geek Freak. Uh, thanks for joining in on this one. Um, special shout out to all my new subscribers. It's been really awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I really enjoy the support. And I'm really hoping to get onto a far more consistent schedule this year. Um, at least I finally have all my equipment in line. It all seems to be behaving correctly. Um, so I should be able to make things happen. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace.